From the production company behind Breakin' 2, Electric Boogaloo, comes a Superman movie so bad, it'll likely kill the entire franchise for 19 years. All right, stop! Stop! That's enough! Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. Christopher Reeve is back for one last paycheck as Superman in one of the corniest movies of the decade. Which is saying a lot, since this is the 80s. The name of the game is making money. Watch as this mild-mannered dork turns into this mild-mannered dork. I'd like all the people back there to know that our subway system is still the safest and most reliable means of public transportation. Recoil in horror at the return of mentally unstable actress Margot Gitter. Superman! As she struggles to play Lois Lane. And he's doing his best to make sure that it'll be all right for the rest of us. Yeesh. And Gene Hackman returning as Lex Luthor, an evil genius who can't pronounce the word nuclear. Nuclear power. Nuclear strategist. Nuclear bomb. Nuclear warhead. Nuclear man. The quest for peace begins when this dumb, overdubbed kid... I tell you who I'd write a letter to that would do some good. Who, Santa Claus? No, Superman! Guilt Superman into collecting all of the world's nuclear weapons that he'll stuff into this big net and throw into the sun, which somehow the UN is totally cool with. Confused? Just wait. We're only getting started. Watch as Lex and Ducky from Pretty in Pink easily cut Superman's indestructible hair, strap it onto a missile, and launch it into the sun to inexplicably create Nuclear Man. Destroy Superman now. Behold the super side of two grown men in spandex going toe to toe in some of the most poorly executed sissy fights ever put to celluloid. <laughs> wow, this is bad. This is really bad. Ah. What the heck was that? What is this, space tag? Uh, nails? Really? Come on, you're Superman. Do something. That looks terrible. He scratched him? Superman lost from a scratch? That made no sense. Ugh. Are we sure we want to release this thing? Marvel at Superman's powers that you know and love and stare in wide-eyed disbelief at these new completely made-up powers like rebuilding the Great Wall of China with his eyes, lowering people with his mind, and helping this woman breathe in outer space. So if you thought this year's Predator and Spaceballs look too polished, then we've got the summer film for you. Filled with terrible blue screen, fake miniatures, ridiculous oversized props, really, really terrible blue screen, and the same flying shots used over and over and over and over again. Seriously, these are all the same shot? You couldn't do one more take? That's, that's lazy, you guys. Starring Captain America, Hackman, Desperately Seeking Superman, Charlie Sheen, Betty Ford, and Dolph Lundgrenish, Superman IV, The Quest for Peace. Man, this movie's bad. At least it's not Marvel, right? Those guys will never figure out how to make movies.